Hello guys, in this video, we are going to implement the neural network called ResNet 101. This is a, only a implementation and not training operation. Okay, we started importing Torch and Torch Vision models. Let's run this cell. The requirements that you need is have installed Torch, Torch Vision, both, and then follow this tutorial. Before to create our ResNet 101 architecture, we are going to see how many models has Torch Vision. As you can see here, guys, there are many models pre-trained, exactly. Here is ResNet 101. Okay, guys. Now that we know that, I uh, we need to load this pre-trained network passing this parameter. Pre-trained equals true. In the first time, when you run this cell, you will see that it starts, it starts to download this model. This Jupyter Notebook is in my repository. This link is in the video description. Then run this to see the architecture. Okay. Before to send the image to the network, we need to transform it. To do that, we import transforms. And then we create a new variable called preprocess, which will be our preprocess for our image. These are the transformations. First, we Make a resize of the image of the input image, then a center crop operation, then convert it to tensor, and then normalize by using the mean, the mean and the standard deviation. Run this. Okay, then we need to open, open one image to send to the network. In this case, I am loading one image of a dog. Of a dog. You must need have installed pill to be able to load images. I'm going to print my image. You can see here. Then we are going to perform the process operation. We are going to send this variable, this image, to the process, preprocess. Run this. Okay, our image now has been processed. Let's see the shape. We have three channels, and these are the width and the height of the image. Then we are going to apply some new squeeze operation. Basically, this will add a new dimension to our tensor. Let's print the shape. You can see here another dimension for this image. Then we are going to set our network in inference model. model. If we don't do that, the network will be in trained model. We need to be, we need to have this in inference mode. mode. Okay, I'm going to run this. Now the network is in inference mode. Let's see or let's pass our or tensor image. Here is as you can see here. This variable contains our image, but now in a tensor. Let's see and print the result. And here are the probabilities of each class. 
this network has 1000 classes I then I'm going to load the image net classes you can download this file in this repository the link is in the description video guys load your classes ok has been loaded then we are going to obtain the maximum probability the maximum prediction in this case only the max prediction let's print the index it says that is the number 207 let's print his per his per percentage of prediction or probability the percentage we have a percentage of 89.56 this is the class golden retriever which is correct you can see here this is an identical dog ok then we are going to print guys the file classes the maximum five prediction by using sort the, the function sort of sort ptorch sort ok we pass this parameter descending descending equals true because we need in a descending order let's pass this and now we have here in a descending order the labels predicted Okay, you can see here that in the second place is tennis ball. Mm, we can see that Southern BS is to sneak into our data because there are images. Like this. Where uh, there are some balls, yes, and this is it is a uh, aviases. This this make origin aviases. There is aviases respecting respectively to these images and the dog and the ball. The network learn, learned that we can do nothing. We can do, we can do nothing to solve this problem. This is a simple basis that the network has learned. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope that you implement this. It's very easy. You go to my repository and download the Jupyter Notebook. Download the Notebook and execute each cell. That's it guys. See, see you soon.